continued quest to find truth in the other news of the week. The Vatican has confirmed that Catholics will never be able to have their sins forgiven by using the internet for confession. <laughs> Odd, given that that's where a lot of the sins are going to originate. A Melbourne man has been convicted and fined $200 for breaking wind in front of a police officer. <laughs> How's that for a gas bill? Bus passengers in Perth will soon have televisions on board to make the trip more fun. Of course, when they get off the bus, they're still in Perth. <laughs> Russians are facing a possibility of a vodka shortage after new tax laws brought most distilleries to a halt. Maybe now they'll sober up and make a decent car. <laughs> <laughs> Details emerged last week of OneTel hiring a feng shui expert to bring prosperity into their offices around the globe. A closer inspection shows that the prosperity lines were directed straight into the director's pockets. <laughs> Debate continues over whether or not mobile phones cause cancer in much the same way as we debated for many years as to whether cigarettes cause cancer. But at least we've stopped selling those to children. Now, we offered a spokesman for the mobile phone industry the opportunity to take part in a phone interview, but he declined, saying he'd rather write us a letter. Good night. Tomorrow night, join us for madcap comedy from the cast of The Young Ones as the comic strip presents Four Men in a Plane, tomorrow night at 10. Coming up, the fun continues with The Fat.